Hi, while entering an aircraft, do you get excited by looking at all the switches inside the cockpit? I am here to kill your curiosity by answering your questions. Welcome to Flight Level 070, I am Mutkarsh and today we will discuss how to prepare the cockpit for its flight. I am rated on the Airbus A320 and I will be using the flight through operating manual as a guidance. We will begin with the preliminary cockpit preparation and from there on I will be making separate videos. So let's go to the simulator and practice some flows. Here we are. This aircraft has three main panels, namely the overhead panel, the FCU and the pedestal. Let's begin with the flows. We begin with the engine master 1 and 2 off, engine mode selector normal, check the weather radar, system off, predictive wind shear off, gain to cal and mode is weather plus turbulence. Check the landing gear lever down, move to the wipers, both wipers are set to off. Then we perform the battery check. If the aircraft has not been supplied for past 6 hours or more, then you put the batteries to off. Check the voltage above 25.5 volts. 25.5 volt ensures a 50% charge. If it's below 25.5, then a charge cycle of 20 minutes is required. Battery 1 and 2 set to auto and ensure external power is on. This will give a charging cycle. After 20 minutes, you put the batteries back to off and check that the battery is more than 25.5 volts. If the battery initially itself are more than 25.5 volts or the aircraft has been electrically supplied within the past 6 hours, then you just set the batteries to auto. If external power is available, you select it on. Then we start the APU. To start the APU, the requirement is first to perform the fire test. For the fire test, Check that the APU fire push button is in and guarded and the agent light is off. Press the test button and maintain. Check that the fire push button light turns red. The squib and discharge lights come on. There is a E-cam of APU fire, continuous repeated chime and the master warning light which will only be available if aircraft has AC power. When you release the APU fire push button, to start the APU, select the APU master switch on, wait at least for 3 seconds, then push the APU start push button. You can look at the lower display for the APU start. We will accelerate through the start procedure. The avail light confirms the APU is available and the upper ECAM displays APU avail in the memo. When the APU is available, we move to the air conditioning panel. Air conditioning APU bleed on. Check all white lights are off cross speed selector to auto and set the desired zone temperatures. Switch on all cockpit lights as required. Overhead light, lighting on the FCU. Displays. Blood light. And it declined. If you are using the EFP, you can start with EFP. Initialize the A cards and pre initialize the FMGS. For FMGS, you go to data, aircraft status. Check for the aircraft and engine type. Check the validity of the navigation database. Go to init, insert the from and to, and the flight number. That is done. CM1 will press the recall for 23 seconds. 
confirm any failures from the MEA or the CDLs. As that is done, perform the acceptance of the exam. Then we will tune into the APIS and obtain whether go to the QRH and check for OEBs. OEB stands for Operation Engineering Bulletin. Move to the ECAM load page. Check for the cockpit oxygen level. If this is half ammo box, then you check the limitations in the FCOM for the number of occupants in the cockpit. To the hydraulics. Check for the reservoir fluid levels. The engine oil quantity, which should be minimum of 11 parts for an IE engine and quantity for the approximate value for per hour of usage. We check the flight control, the flap lever, and the position on the E cam should match. Ensure that the speed brakes are retracted and disarmed. Check for the accumulator pressure. Set the parking brake handle to on and check the brake pressure. Check for the emergency equipment, which will be the flashlight out here, then the vest behind the seats, escape ropes. Smoke hood, quick down oxygen mask on the side, axe at the back of the first officer side, and the fire extinguisher to the side of the first officer side. Check the rain effluent quantity, circuit breaker panel, and the landing gear pins and covers are stored on board. After which, you can go for the exterior walker. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for the next upcoming video. Till then, take care.